people living on the street or those with insecure housing. We spoke with one woman who is facing homelessness soon. She says she's now living in a hotel after being evicted for not paying rent. Our A.J. Walker has the details tonight from the intersection of Winthrop and Hessel Streets on Detroit's west side. These are our clothes, our clothing. Um, this is a bed that me and my son share. And over here is a bed that my daughter and my granddaughter share. Since mid-December, Juanita Cottrell says she and her family have been crammed into this hotel room. She says she's here because she got evicted from her apartment because she couldn't pay the rent. And any day now, she will have to leave here because she can't afford to pay to stay here either. It's hard. I had already been through a process dealing with um, not having a place to stay when my dad passed. So, it's even harder now. Cottrell says she has just one wish. Just for us to be able to get into a home as soon as possible. But that's going to be hard for her. How much money do you bring in per month? 600 and maybe roughly 30, 30, 40 something dollars. That's about it. For the entire month? For the entire month. How much has rent cost at the places you've been applying and looking? Um, I'm seeing anywhere from maybe seven, eight hundred to over a thousand dollars. Cottrell says it's hard for her to get a second job because she also doesn't have a car. She said she's applied for help with the city of Detroit and she's been going through the housing assistance process since December. Cottrell's circumstances are not unique. Officials with the city of Detroit say there are several factors that are leading to housing issues in the city right now. That's less money available, more people needing help, and less shelter beds available. There's evictions which are nearing their pre-pandemic levels of about 10,000 a year. Um, we have a moratorium, of course, and now we've climbed up to about 7,000 last year, a little bit less than 7,000 last year. And so on top of that, um, our, the number of shelter beds that we have in our actual emergency shelter system has decreased. Cottrell says she's recently been assigned a new housing caseworker, and that's been delaying the process for housing help. But she says she has been in touch with a new one as of last week. You don't have the money to pay for this hotel, so what are you going to do? I have no choice. I don't. I, uh, we would probably have to end up in a shelter. And I did inform officials with the city about Cottrell's case. They said they will look into the matter. Of course, we'll keep you up to date with any developing details. Reporting in Detroit, I'm A.J. Walker, CBS News, Detroit. Okay, Shalom. Form Yashallah. Koholoyim la. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Bahashim Rechah HaKwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. And just want to say the water toward the Akim and Akwa. That's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability, which is Yahanan the Waf. It's coming at you with another quick, quick lesson in prayer that is edifying by the Spirit. And um, here's another article. It says Americans are losing their homes. So, you know, when I seen this, you know, Esau Edom, the so called white man, basically what he's doing is he's pressuring people. To the point where when they roll around the MOTB, that, that market of beauty and the beast, once that rolls out, he's going to come with relief. He causes the problem and then he's going to say, hey, look, this is what we have. You can get out of that. All you got to do is come down to such and such, such and such address. <laughs> you know, we're going to have some um, some tattoo artists or some some piercing artists or, you know, people that are professional with piercings, so to speak. And we're going to, you know, need to keep track of. You know, the food and the people that's getting the food and, you know, it's easier for you to walk in and, you know, you can be scanned and, you know, you grab your 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 things and we're going to pay for your rent. We're going to give you a car, whatever the case may be, whatever this man may do. See, we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. That's the scriptures, man. You have to understand that this is how he gets down. He creates the problem and then he creates the solution. And the solution is always, you know, pretty much overall you being enslaved. Now, this is a serious enslavement, though, because if you take what this man is pushing, then you're going to be destroyed. There's no way around it. You know what I'm saying? And so let's get a little bit of this story right here. I'll grab a couple of scriptures. OK, but it says foreclosures ticked up last year. And what experts says was housing market corre um, correction after years of volatility.
following the outbreak of COVID-19, according to the real estate data. See, and, and, you know, the same thing, if you notice in the last story, the guy, he mentioned, you know, the COVID-19 situation, you know, the money ran out. Now you have all these damn immigrants that's coming into the country and they're taking up all the shelter space. They're taking up schools. <laughs> you know, they even on the news talking about, um, will you allow somebody to come and stay in your house? That's a complete damn stranger. Please help with the immigration um, people or whatever, you know, stuff like that. So you have veterans that's out here, man, been, you know, waiting for housing forever. You know, people that done went to war for this place and they out here um, getting frostbit because it's cold as shit right now, too. Especially here, like for her situation, if she was to get kicked out today, whoo, yeah, man, it's like, I think still like three, four, no, it might be about 10 degrees right now, but we had that little vo um, polar vortex come through, and it, it's just simply not going to be easy. It's not easy for um, single women, man. I don't even know how she's staying in a hotel like that for 600, shit, 600, them bitches normally cost, so that's probably about, um, you know, I don't even think that gets you a week in the place that she was in, looked like. You see what I'm saying? So, and she's there. How you got your daughter and your granddaughter? Like, where are all the people in your family? Because I noticed in the story that, you know, she she had them borrow money from family members and all this other stuff. But, okay, so if you was able to borrow money from your family members, where are they staying? They won't allow you to come stay with them. So, you also have, you know, what Yahweh Shai said was uh, Matthew 24 and 12 that, um, because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. People don't want to be bothered like that no more. And, you know, and you seen her sitting on the bed, she was reading that Bible. And you know who she praying to? Sweet white baby Jesus, that damn idol. You know, she's in there with all her belongings. But it's going to come a point where, I mean, hey, y'all better repent, man. And, and, and to the Father Yahweh in the name of his son Yahweh Shai, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And it's not going to be a good look for you women, man, because... A man, he can throw a damn backpack on and, 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 and grab a cheap-ass tent, and he can live out of that shit on the dolo by himself. He can, he can, grab, he, he can build a quick fire, and, and you know, his wood all around, hell, he ain't nothing to have a, a cheap-ass skillet or a pot and, 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 and build you a fire and make you something to eat on that shit, man. Or you can, shit, Jacob eat shit out of the can. All we need is a plastic spork <laughs> and some of those lids that you could just pop open or a damn can opener. You see what I'm saying? And get on the move by himself. Now, it may be a little uncomfortable. It may be something that he may not want to do. But just think about it. She was trying to do that with those two kids. You with your grand, you got your granddaughter with you. Who, where your fucking daughter at? Or where's your son at that that, that, that that child belongs to? Anyway. It says um, foreclosure um, filings last year, including, including the default notices. Scheduled auctions and bank repossessions jumped 10% compared to 2022 and were up 136% from 2021, but they were down nearly 30% compared to 2019, the year before COVID disrupted the housing market. So, yeah, you know, and, and they over there in that World Economic Forum, the WEF, talking about um <laughs> some some new shit for you people, man. See, they, you know, because cause, cause Satan, he's coming down with that great, he knows that he has but a short time. Scripture talks about that, you know. Matter of fact, you know, I'm kind of, you know, talking a little bit, but, you know, let's just get into the scriptures. Because Esau, he's about to close down shop, man, on y'all asses, man. The grinding is ceasing out here, you know what I'm saying. Um, work is not what it used to be. Um, people are getting laid off from jobs and shit, you know. And these dudes, man, these men, see, all the shit that you women have done for the past, you know, a couple of decades, you know what I'm saying, you know, 40, 50 years, 60 years, especially you so-called black women, dudes not trying to deal with y'all no more like that. They're not trying to do it. And, and, and the men that, that really would deal with you in that manner, you so goddamn up and high and mighty that you won't even take him. He might be that snaggle tooth dude, ain't got no damn teeth in his mouth, but he know how to um, fix a car. You know, he knows how to go and, and fix on a home. He knows carpentry. He knows plumbing. You know what I'm saying? He might be not your most desired looking man, but shit, <laughs> you'd be better off with him than no man at all because he can take care of some things. You see what I'm saying? But y'all preferences is so damn high. Oh, I, I got to have a six foot man. He's got to have a six pack with six figures. The six, six, six devil, you know, but anyway, Revelations 12 and 12. It says, therefore, rejoice, ye heavens, 
and ye that dwell in them, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he had but a short time. And, and this shit is about to get worse and worse and worse. It's tent cities everywhere. Like I said, again, you got all these damn immigrants. All these immigrants that came through here, they're getting better treatment. They're getting um, damn insurance. They're getting housing. They're getting um, food stamps. They're coming right off in here getting everything that you, you, you used to get or, 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 or was trying to get. So it's going to be an uprise of these people that's um, in, in this place, man. And it's not going to be a pretty look. Like I said for, you know, you got all these proud ass women that's online talking about niggas, you know. Talking about a Jake, he got a job. He may be making $15 an hour. And you got a bitch that's online, never even had a damn job, talking shit about this man because of the job he got. You don't work nowhere except for showing your ass. So it's going to come a point where those same women are going to realize, up, oh, you know what, Shh. I don't care if that nigga making six dollars an hour. I'll take a man right now. He's got he's got a place. He's got a car. He's got somewhere warm for me to go to right now. He may have a twin bed, but we're gonna share that one. <laughs> he may have a cot. No, we should we can share a pallet. And that's pretty much what it's all boiling down to, man. But like I said again, see Esau, this is what it's all coming to right here. Cause he's making it hard for people to, you know buy and sell for people to actually eat man so when he gives that that solution jake gonna run for it revelation 13 to 16 you trying to tell me this woman if they came and offered her and said well hey you know what we got this for you a stipend or whatever the case may be we got a housing for you you know we're gonna give you this amount of money per month we're gonna take care of everything just come through bring them children and we're going to, you know, going to have to implant you. We're going to have to put this chip and they're going to give this reason as to why. But Jake not going to care because all they want is some relief. That's why a lot of people going to be able to do that are going to be um, taking it because they're going to want relief because Esau is going to come down so hard to the point where he's going to make you want relief. That's where your 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 trust and Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is going to come in. You're going to trust in the Lord, Yahweh. His son, Yahweh Shai, or you're going to trust in the so-called white man. And if you trust in the so-called white man, you're going to be doomed. That little bit of relief is going to get your ass fucked up. So you might as well struggle, man, if you have to struggle. Revelations 13 and 16, it says, And he causeth all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark. Or the name of the beast or the number of his name. And that's coming in so many ways, man. It's nothing for this man to shut this bitch down, man, overnight. He can he can clip, you know, throw a fake ass blackout, all your money gone when you wake up in the morning. Next thing you know, he's talking to you about coming on down and being chipped. <laughs> that's the only way we can help you, sir. That's the only way we can help you, ma'am. You gotta have no nope, that's no that's the new system. No, no, this is the way it's going now. We hey, we we don't care about you had a hundred thousand dollars um last week. You know, we, we don't we, we, we don't even under we don't even know if you really had it before because the system is down and, and, and there's no way of us pulling it back up to even see what you had, ma'am. <laughs> you see? And these women with these children, they're gonna be prone to, to do it because they women like comfort. Shit, you can make me comfortable. I mean, but you, hey, it, it's, there are women out here that deal with niggas that they would never deal with just because he can make them comfortable. That's why women, they, you know, as soon as they come up and come across somebody else, they, they, they'll move on, even though they somewhere comfortable. She can be with a dude that's paying her car note, you know, giving her some money to do her nails and hair and all this other shit, food in the house, taking her out to, you know, you know restaurants and dinner and on vacations and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? And she'll stick stick it out as long as she's comfortable until she finds something else that seems more comfortable to her. She'll dip up and get away from a comfortable situation just being stupid as hell. So, but it's coming to a point where men are just not, you know, it's, things are getting stre stretched too far for even the men. Shit, men got bills. See, all that, all that, you know what I'm saying? Men used to be able to, you know, kind of deal with a little side chick and shit, man. Shit done got so expensive, he, he can't deal with no side chicks like that no more. He don't have nothing for him. <laughs> he, he's trying to deal with his woman right at his house. You know what I'm saying? The other chick hitting him off. You know what I'm saying? Like, I need this, 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 and this. 
but he can't do it no more. It ain't what it used to be, man. The money not stretching like how we used to stretch. So, hey, all we can say is, man, hey, repent to the Father Yahweh in the name of his son Yahweh Shai because it's going to get worse. Esau don't care nothing about a woman like that being out on the street. See, before y'all had it great, he was giving you food stamps. He was giving you Section 8 housing. Shit, there was a time where there wouldn't have been no problem for this lady to not have no, ain't no fucking way she'd have been at no hotel uh, uh, two years, three years back, man. Shit, she'd have easily, now even, you know, the place that she was staying. How you get kicked out of the place that you were staying at before all this happened? $600 a month? No, shit, man. Esau was handling Section 8 and giving you cash assistance. So what's going on here? The funds are running out. And you you better believe if Trump become president, Trump was talking about uh, uh, giving y'all last uh, 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 some powdered milk and cheese, man. Goddamn box of food. Now you, you're going to have to really prove that you you know you can't work to um, get assistance now, man. They, they done made that shit hard as hell. Matter of fact, they raised the late the um the age range here in um Michigan where I'm at. Shit, those old ass people that were sitting around, it wasn't nothing for them to just get them a little bit of money. No, nah, they gotta, they gotta qualify. <laughs> they gotta do a few more things to qualify for that shit now. You see? And again, Jake, Jake just out here just doing their thing, man. People not paying car notes no more. People not paying car insurance no more. You know? All the bills that people would normally pay, they not paying no bills like that no more, man. People are just, they putting money on shit that they really need to have. Like the house, so, you know, so because niggas know they need a, a roof over their head. But some people not even paying that shit. Really, in reality, they're not paying that because they don't have it. They're not paying the water bills. It's people here in Detroit right now, man. They don't have no water in their house. Because when COVID was going on, you know, of course, they want everybody to wash their hands and be able to be, stay clean and all this shit. You know, they, they, they clipped the water bill system for a hot sack because people was, you know, shit, they, they had them bills, them outstanding bills. And they clipped it for the past couple of years. Now they done, they now they trying to collect. Now they ready to turn your shit off. They done turned off. It's people right now, man. It's cold as shit. You know, <laughs> they don't have no water in their house. They don't have no heat. And Esau don't care. They do have budget systems and things of that nature like that. But like I said again, people can barely afford their medicine, their medication. You know. The kids need this, that, and the third. They can't, you know what I'm saying? So it's like things are, are changing. So when Shrey comes down to it, Esau, he's going to use that shipping system to basically get people to step forward. Come now, step on up. You know, it's not going to be nothing for them. Because like I said, again, people are going to want relief. But let's get on um, Revelation 14 and 9. Going off in two. I didn't even know the lesson was going to go this way. But because, see, we, we are... That's why it's important to pray the Lord's Prayer, my daily bread, my daily needs. The Lord said he would provide, you know what I'm saying, He, he uh, the things that you need. Well, he talks about, you know, the, the heathen, you know what I'm saying. Matter of fact, let me see. Um, Salakia. Trying to think how it's worded. Lilies of the field. Yeah, let's get it in Luke. And this is red letter. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this is beautiful right here. Um, cause the Lord, He gonna look out, man. Let me start at twenty-two. It says, teaching about money and possessions, right? Verse 22, Luke 12 and 22. It says, and he said unto his disciples, this is red letter, this is Yahweh Shai, which um, the world ignorantly calls Jesus, but his name is Yahweh Shai, which means he's the Savior or Deliverer in the Hebrew tongue. It says, therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat, neither for the body, what ye shall put on. The life is more than meat, and the body is more than raiment. Consider the ravens. For they neither sow nor reap, which neither have storehouse nor barn, and Yahweh feedeth them, how much more are ye better than the fowls, right? And which of you, which taking thought, can add to his stature one cubit? If ye then be not able to do that thing, which is least, why take ye thought for the rest? 
consider the lilies how they grow. They toil not, they spin not, and yet I say unto you that Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. If then Yahweh so clothed the grass, see, which is today in the which is today in the field, and tomorrow was cast into the oven, how much more will he clothe you, O ye of little faith? See, you have to have faith. But you have to have faith in the true father and, 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 you know, and know his true name and call upon his true name, which is Yahweh, which means that he exists with the existing one in the Paleo Hebrew. That's the true name of the father and the true name of his son again is Yahweh Sai, which means that he's the savior or deliverer in Paleo Hebrew. Right. It says, um, it says, and seek and seek not what seek not ye what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink. Neither be ye of a doubtful mind, and because what does the scripture talks about being doubtful? It's um it says um uh, don't even expect nothing from the Lord. If you're a doubtful man, you um it, uh, talks about um your thoughts being like the wave waving of the sea, waving tossing you know back and forth. You have to you have to be straight forward with your faithfulness, man. You can't be doubtful that the Lord is gonna you know do what He's gonna do. He's gonna do what He said He's gonna do. His word will not return to Him void. You gotta keep that in mind. Because if you're doubtful, you're not getting nothing from the Lord. The scripture clearly says that in the book of James. Right? It says, for all these things do the nations of the world seek after. And your father knoweth that ye have need of these things. So the Lord know what you need, man. He know what you can handle. But rather seek ye the kingdom of Yahweh, and all these things shall be added unto you. Fear not, little flock. And that's important too. See? It says, but rather seek ye the kingdom of Yahweh. What's the kingdom of Yahweh? His ways of doing things, his commandments, his laws, his statutes, you know, being obedient to him. You know what I'm saying? You know, we do it to the best of our ability. He sees that faith because you have faith in the Lord when you're doing what he said to do. He sees that. But you got these other people out here. They, they don't understand that. They, they really think that they're doing it. They have a zeal of Yahweh, but not according to knowledge because they're calling on idolatrous white Jesus. They're going to call on idolatrous white Jesus and expecting to get something in these last days. And they're not. They're going to be destroyed. Okay, verse 32, it says, Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. See that? And, and you know, that's the point that I wanted to make on that. But let's go back into Revelation because I wanted to also touch on by the spirit here. That, hey, if you take what this so-called white man is about to, about to present to you, you're going to be through. And it's entitled Doom for Worshippers of the Beast, Revelation 14 and 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And this is going to come to a lot of people, man. You talking about, man, man, it's going to be a lot of bloodshed, man. I, I can't even, you know, of course, we can't tally the number, but it's going to be millions and millions and millions of people, man. Possibly a billion or so. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be destroyed out here, man, because it's going to be a lot of people that's going to take that shit. America going to be destroyed with that thermonuclear fire anyway. You see what I'm saying? So it's, it's about to get nasty out here, man. About to get nasty out here. And it's a lot of women that's living out of their cars. You'd be surprised. See, like I said, again, it's nothing for a man. You know what I'm saying? Should, you know, it, it can be uncomfortable as well for a man. Don't get me wrong, but it's, 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 it's different for a woman. You just got to just be, let's be real here. It's, it's far different for a woman, especially with um, children. And that's why um, we pray that scripture where, you know, to qualify, you know, it was back in the days, in the ancient days. But um, where the scripture talks about uh, pray that your women are not pregnant or with suck. Matter of fact, let me see here. Pray that, um, that um, your flight is not in winter, nor on the, on the Sabbath. Let me see. I'm not sure if that's how it was worded.
trying to think how yeah, I think this is it. Uh Salakia. Yeah, Matthew 24 and 19. And, and Matthew 24, man, it was a cold chapter because it goes through what Yahweh Shah told the disciples because they asked him what would be happening in the end days and, you know, just before his coming. Um, this is Matthew 24 and 19. It says, And woe unto them that are with child and to them that give suck in those days. You know, like I said, I was, you know, to qualify it, it happened back in um, 70 AD or whatever, but, it, you know, it can apply to today. You see? Because it, it, it would be a rough time for a woman and a man with children. You know what I'm saying? But especially for just a woman alone, it would be rough if she just, you know, not long had the child. You don't have no damn Similac no more. You can't depend upon the so-called white man and his infamil. And now you out on the run. You know what I'm saying? And the only, you know, thing that you can do is breastfeed the child. You know what I'm saying? You know, but anyway, you know, just in general, a child that's small. Or with a, with a toddler, two or three years old, four or five years old, and you out in this kind of weather, and you trying to find somewhere to just have shelter for the night. You holding up in a barn or somebody's garage or some abandoned home or you you know off in a bush somewhere you know with some trying to get as much coverage as you possibly can because man look it's gonna get nasty out here. None of us know our situation or our lot like that. You know what I'm saying? But it's gonna be a nasty situation, man, for everybody. But, you know, it would be better to, to have someone. And, you know, you just have to just pray anyway, though. Because the Lord, like I said again, hey, we just clearly seen in, in, in the scriptures that the Lord, he's going to handle everything. He knows exactly what you need. He's going to be on top of everything that you need. And though things may seem like it's rough, he's still going to be there for you. But you can't doubt. So, you see, this lady right here, she yeah, she's in a pretty serious situation. It's a scary situation, man. That's not a that's not an easy situation to be in for a woman. You know, that's not an easy situation for anyone to be in. And then, like I said, again, you can clearly see it says Americans are losing their homes. There's a lot of people losing their homes. It's not just this woman. I was just at Walmart, man. Motherfucker had a big ass one beggar with a big ass van and a car. I can tell they was all together. They were looking like three families was living out of that damn thing, man. Motherfuckers is living on the road, man. You got to keep your vehicle running. It's cold as shit. Um, petroleum and ga I mean, gas is not, um, um, you know, cheap. The damn gas is through the roof right now. It's, it's done went back up. So you have to run the vehicle to keep it, you know, to keep from fucking freezing in there. Or, or your battery going bad, going to, um, dying on you. And, and that's any Walmart or Target. You go to any, you see these parking lots. There's people living out of their cars, man. For real, for real. I see it all the time. They, you know, they'll be there. You'll see the covers all over their window trying to block out the sun. They living out, you know, living out of these parking lots, man. Might have a gym membership where they can go shower. Or walk into a Walmart and, 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 and wash up at the sink. I mean, hey, it is what it is, man. So, you know, get prepared as you can. You know what I'm saying? By the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh You know, just pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh for mercy. And um, that he'll look out for you. And like I said, again, have faith, man, and don't doubt. So, you know, it is, you know, it is what it is, man. We, we definitely are at the end of this thing. So with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Oh, matter of fact, though, let me get this one, too. That Matt, um, Since we was already in Revelation, let's get chapter 16 and verse 2. It's another one that kind of goes with that. Um, 14, because you're going to be destroyed, man, if you, you take this man's shit. Revelation 16 and 2, and it says, And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth. And it's talking about the angels. There fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the man, the men which had the mark of the beast, and upon them which worshipped his image. See? And it's not just talking about um, men. It's talking about the mankind, basically. The women, too. The children, too. There's going to be a... a, 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 a Blisters or some damn boils or something gonna grow on your ass, man. If you take this man's shit, you know. Here, this man, he 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 puts a, he wants to put a, a a device in you and run your ass off a of six seven G. You know, he be them kicked in. You know them to surpass five G. His ass them them kicked in and put ten G. Some ten. <laughs> he's running radiation through your ass on some ten G shit. You know, that's gonna make your ass bubble up. Well, anyway. Like I said, again, I just wanted to touch on that, man. I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashallah.